with Dead Whites, Dead Whites 89. Well, this is what started it all. My re-entry into the Transformers collector market. Um, I hadn't really bought any for years. Um, and, yeah, I didn't think I would. But then I saw these. Um, these four recolored vintage figures, which are done in the style of the Transformers the movie animated characters, although they're basically the same characters from the TV series. Um, and I saw them on eBay, and I thought, oh, damn, I want them. And they're about 120, 130, oh, 110 to 150, really, each. And I was looking at them, and then I actually saw them being advertised on Big W. They're exclusives to Big W in Australia, which I think they're exclusive to Walmart in the US. And um, they actually, I looked at the website, and they actually had them listed separately, so you could actually order them. And if you spend over 100 you didn't have to pay postage. So I was actually able to get them for retail price with no postage, not scalper price from eBay, not with, you know, um, postage on top and sometimes even, you know, excessive, you know, expensive postage, which is more than you should pay. Or if you're ordering from the US or the UK, it could be anywhere between 20 to 50 to $70 postage. It gets crazy. Um, so I was just ec ecstatic to be, be able to get them at retail price. I've never been able to get any like reissued Transformers or He-Man figures at retail prices and no postage. So of course I ordered them. Right away I ordered the two jets um, because I just had to have them. Um, I didn't actually get Hound because they didn't have um, Hot Rod at first. I didn't get Hound because I felt like Hound was just a lighter version of the original. I didn't look at it closely enough and the pictures weren't good quality. You couldn't see that his legs and his motor were green, his face were green, they just looked grey. I felt like, well, they've just made him with grey parts instead of chrome parts, they just looked cheaper. Um, and then I saw some other pictures where you could see that they were painted green, and I noticed just how different it was from the original, um, you know, the animated version was from the original, this recolored version. So then I wanted that. Um, and then I looked and I noticed they actually had Hot Rod now. They didn't have him the first time when I looked, so then I ordered Hot Rod and Hound together. So I got all four, and I'm really happy with them. Um, I mean, Hot Rod's colour is great. He's got that purple maroon colour, unlike the original sort of red one, which um, the reissue one had a lot of chrome stickers and looked quite different from um, the original. Um, but I really like the chrome stickers, but it just didn't look like the original one that had foil stickers. And this one has different colours, so I'm quite happy to have different versions. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> his um, pipes and all that... Um, uh, grey instead of chrome or metallic, but um, like the cartoon technically was grey, but his feet are silver, so if they could let them be silver and not paint them grey, why couldn't they do those grey, but whatever. Only a couple of little quibbles. Um, I really loved getting Starscream because I had long wanted one of the recolored ones, because they did this um, through Takara, I think, where they had the lighter blue instead of the dark blue, but they still had um, the tip of his... Um, um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that is um, supposed to be grey in the cartoon, but the reissued toy, they kept it blue like the original. This one's grey, so it's more accurate, so I was happy with that. I wanted this one instead of that one. And this one comes with a Megatron gun that he can hold as well, which I think the Takara one had. Um, now, Thundercracker, I didn't even realise I needed Thundercracker, but when I saw the lighter version, I didn't even realise how much darker the original was, but once I saw the lighter version with the grey fist, you know, I had to have it, you know, I couldn't unsee it. And kind of with Hound, I didn't notice the differences right away, but then once I saw the differences, I wanted this one, and it's fairly accurate. The only, they only, they got two things wrong. Um, the legs, the original legs were black, and feet were black, um, but these ones are green, but this one they've done, for some reason, they've done the back, they kept the black, the back parts black, which they should be light green as well. I don't know why they did that. And the other thing is, the torpedo launcher, I mean, the, the, the torpedo launchers, the torpedoes don't actually fit in the launcher. Um, I have to trim them down, they're square. The hole is square, but the torpedoes are round, so they don't fit in. So that's a slight issue, but um, I'll just trim them and make them fit. But the other thing with this is, this originally was green, and um, the torpedo was silver or grey, and the um, trigger was grey, and the back was grey. So that's green plastic, but this is grey plastic painted, that's green plastic. They should have moulded that in grey plastic and they could have done this in green plastic and just painted that part grey or done that whole thing grey 
and left this part, you know, unpainted and painted this. So it's kind of weird how they've left one part unpainted that was supposed to be green and painted over a part that was supposed to be grey. So they got a little thing wrong there, which is not too bad. But um, the only other issue is um, the length of the torpedoes. They're made longer, I think, because they're less of a choking risk. But um, normally when they do this, they keep the end the same as the original and they have the extra length in here, so you can actually cut it off and then put them in and they look the same. But these ones, the length is in the actual torpedo that's, you know, showing. So you can't really alter it. So a couple little things off, but overall I love the colour, I love the designs, I love having them. I hope they do more. I want them to do cup and blur, um, you know, it'd be great. And Hot Rod goes really well with, you know, my Studio RC. So... I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Glad I got them. If you haven't got them, you should get them.